everyone. Welcome to Live Interactive English. This is Karen. Konnichiwa. I'm Shane. Today we're looking at day one of instant noodles. Simple, cheap, and tasty. And the vocabulary words are instant. Instant. He liked to drink instant coffee at work. Briefly. Briefly. She sat down briefly to check her email. Process. Process. The process of making chicken soup is not too difficult. Complete. Complete. I bought a complete set of color pencils for my sister. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm a nice、okay. guy. <laughs> really, are you? Yeah. Okay, so we're talking about instant noodles. Oh my God, who does not love instant noodles? I love instant noodles. Everybody But, loves instant noodles. So when did it first start? Do you remember? I don't remember the year. You're usually better at dates than me. <laughs> what, what, what year? I am.、That? I am. What year? I think it was 1958. That's a long the time first ago. Kind of instant noodle that was made. Wow, and I know that it's a Japanese invention, but、mm-hmm. the inventor was actually from Taiwan. Ah, go Taiwan! Ah, Taiwan! <laughs> <laughs> and then when they were first invented, actually they were considered like a luxury dish. They were actually、Ooh. more expensive than fresh noodles. Oh, I grew up eating instant noodles, and the reason I ate them is because they were so cheap. Ah,、oh, that that comes later, right? Cheap, the cup noodles, right? Convenient. I know.、Yeah. Oh, well, I still miss them too. Very convenient. I don't eat them as much now because I know they're not very healthy.、Mm-hmm. But when I was a kid, my parents didn't really watch me. They just, <laughs> as long as I was getting food, they didn't care. Really,、and、I survived, and I'm fine now. I love eating、kind、instant noodle when I was little too, but now I'm just in Taiwan. There's just so many other choices. There's so、and、many options. options. Yeah,、right. in America there was just one option. Like when I was growing up, now there's more options. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's learn more about cup of noodles. Okay, noodles. let's go. Instant noodles. Instant noodles. Simple, cheap, and tasty. Instant noodles are a cheap, simple dish that can be found just about everywhere. But how did they come to be? Welcome to Live Interactive English Magazine. Today's lesson is called Instant Noodles.、Mm. Simple, cheap, and tasty. Day one. Hello, everyone. I am Jeff, and I am now hungry. You are hungry. Yes, instant noodles are a very popular snack, and well, the other three words we have there kind of explains why. They're simple, they're cheap, and yum yum. They are tasty. They are delicious. What we're talking about, of course, are these noodles that you can buy at almost any store. You add some hot water, put in the flavor stuff, wait a few minutes, and boom, it's ready. That's why we call them. Instant noodles. You don't have to boil them and make sauces. It's all done. Instant. This adjective, when we use it as an adjective, it means right away, without waiting a long time, with only having to wait a very short time. We often use it for these convenient foods. Instant noodles. Instant soup would be a powder. You add hot water. Boom! You got soup. And how about instant coffee?、Mm. That kind of stuff that's kind of dry. You just throw it in a cup with some hot water. It's coffee. It's made in an instant. You don't even have to wait a few minutes. A few seconds is enough. For example, he liked to drink instant coffee at work. So we've all mostly had instant coffee, probably instant soup, and instant noodles. But that's the one we're talking about today. Let's get into instant noodles. Let's talk about pao mian. Anyways, instant noodles、mm. are a cheap,、yep. simple dish、yep. that can be found just about. Everywhere, Almost, even on the train. Can you buy you them can, on the train? You can get pao mian on the train. Crazy! How crazy! How amazing! Now it says here that instant noodles are cheap. That means they、mm-hmm. are inexpensive.、Mm-hmm. If you go to a supermarket, if you go to Seven Eleven, you can buy instant noodles. They won't cost you much, and you will be eating instantly because these are instant noodles. These noodles have been changed so that you can prepare them really, really quickly. Like. Earlier, you talked about instant coffee. Yeah. Instant coffee isn't really coffee. You see,、mm. people have changed coffee a little bit so that all you have to do is add water, and you are ready to go. You have coffee immediately. Anyways, that's instant coffee. But the name of the game today is instant noodles.、Mm, Where did、right. instant noodles come from? But how did they come to be? That's another way. Let's find out the story of instant noodles. The history. Of instant noodles after this break.、It、sounds 
Good. We have enough Sounds time. delicious. Do we have enough time to make some noodles? Sure, they're instant noodles. All right, let's, let's go. go. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。今天的课文标题是 Instant Noodles, Simple, Cheap, and Tasty。好，单字 instant， 它可以用来形容立即的，也可以用来形容食品或是饮品是速食的、即溶的。像 instant noodles 表示泡面，那么 instant coffee 表示即溶咖啡。那我们在 instant 后面加 ly 变成副词 instantly， 就是指立即、马上。同学们常常吃泡面吗？泡面真的是又便宜又简单又好吃，而且在台湾到处都买得到。那我们今天就是来看看泡面的起源。刚刚 Jeff 老师又用到 inexpensive， inexpensive 这个形容词形容花费不多的或是价格低廉的。这华课文中 ，instant noodles， simple， cheap and tasty。Although instant noodles were invented in Japan, the man who invented them, Momofuku Ando, was from Taiwan. He came up with them by briefly frying noodles in oil at a high heat. This dries the noodles and creates tiny holes in them, so they can quickly absorb water when they're later boiled. The process also allows them to be stored for up to a year without going bad. Mmm, pao mian. Those were good. Wow, you I you ate those key. fast. Well, sure, you gotta eat them jump cold. Right ba- <laughs> jump, cold jump right back, jump right back in here, wiping your face and off. The noodles you. get all soft. Ugh. Hey, you're a multitasker. Absolutely, I, I admire that. I Anyways, like, yeah. like I said before, instant noodles、mm. are the name of the game. That's what we're talking about today. Delicious, delicious, pao mian. Anyways. Where did instant noodles come from? Well, get this—they were invented in Japan. That's right; they were invented in Japan. It says, although instant noodles were invented in Japan, the man who invented them, Momofuku Ando, was from Taiwan.、Oh. Momofuku Ando is from Taiwan. Tainan, actually. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. Pao Mian, it's it's kind of Taiwanese. That's right. He had a clothing company, and then he started to work in Japan. And it was in Japan where he came up with the idea. To come up with an idea is sort of like to invent an idea. That's where the idea popped into his head. He came up with them by briefly frying noodles in oil at a high heat.、Ooh. That's how he did it. That's the That, secret. This also sounds delicious. Frying noodles in oil. Mm. Mm-hmm. I like noodles and I like oil. What an amazing combination! Momo Fuku Ando, you are my hero. Now, before we move on, let's talk about the adverb briefly. If you do something briefly, you don't do that thing for a long time. In fact, you do that thing for a short period of time. For example. She sat down briefly to check her email, so she might have been sitting there for a minute or so, and then she got up again. She didn't sit down and stay there for a few hours and watch Netflix or anything like that. She sat down. She sat down for a very short time, and、mm-hmm. she got up again. There you go. So what did he do? Basically, he made the noodles in the normal way and then fried them very quickly in hot oil. Why? Well, it says this dries the noodles. And creates tiny holes in them. So in the noodles, there are these tiny little holes, so they can quickly absorb water when they're later boiled. That's why you can package the noodles, send them off, and then once you buy them from the store, add some water, and the water goes back into the noodles, and your noodles are nice and soft again.、Mm, so this this allows you to quickly make your noodles,、That's、your、right. instant noodles. It has everything to do. With the holes that allow you to quickly absorb the hot water. There,、That's、anyways,、right. the process. Our article continues. The process also allows them to be stored for up to a year without going bad.、Wow. So, not only does this make pao mian or instant noodles possible. This process also helps these noodles to not go bad. There you go. If they don't go bad, that means they can stay fresh. They're still okay to eat 
up to a year after they've been put in that package, and maybe even a little bit longer. They just might not taste quite so good. But anyways, when we talk about a process, this noun is basically it's kind of a step-by-step -step method of doing something. It's something that you won't do in just one step. You have to use a few different things. Brushing your teeth is a fairly simple process. You get your toothbrush, put some water and toothpaste on it. Brush your teeth for a few minutes. Rinse it off. Rinse out your mouth. You're done. It's maybe four or five steps. Making a car would be a much longer and more complicated process because a car is a big machine with many parts. But you would do it in a very logical, step-by-step -step way. And as long as you do the process the same all the time, you should have the same results. For example, the process of making chicken soup. Is not too difficult. Put the chicken in the pot. Sure. Add some water. Yes. Cook it. Boil、chicken、it、soup. for a long time. Put some noodles, maybe some vegetables in. Cook it a little longer. You're just, you're finished. Just cook it, man. There you、It's、go. Not difficult. When we talk about recipes, also that's just a process for how to make a certain kind of food. So it's just a step by step method. All right. Cool. We're gonna take a break. That's part of our process in teaching you these articles. And then when we come back, we'll have a little bit more. 泡面是在日本发明的，不过泡面的发明人 Momofuku Ando 安藤百福，他是来自台湾。那当初他是把面条放进高温里面，短暂的油炸而想出泡面这个点子。因为短暂的高温油炸可以让面条去除水分，产生许多孔隙。那之后在烹煮的时候就可以迅速吸收水分。除此之外，这个过程也可以让泡面能保存长达一年都不会腐坏。文中的 go bad 就表示食物开始腐坏，那么 come up with 就是表示想出或是提供，像是想出某个主意啊、计划等等。这边还有两个单字 briefly。Briefly 是副词，表示短暂的、简短的，或是简言之。那么 process process 表示过程、进程，它是当名词来用。接华课文中。Instant noodles, simple, cheap, and tasty. The first instant noodles made by Ando's company, Nissin, came in 1958. At the time, these chicken-flavored noodles were considered a luxury dish. They were much more expensive than fresh noodles. In 1971, Nissin began selling cup noodles. This instant noodle dish could be sold, cooked, and served in a single cup. All the customer had to do was add hot water. With the later addition of dried vegetables to the cup, instant noodles then became a complete meal. Mike, I、yep. cannot imagine a world where instant noodles didn't exist. But、mm. you know what? Instant noodles are kind of new. They're kind of a new creation. They were created in 1958. Which wasn't that long ago. My parents were born in 1954, so they were born before instant noodles existed. Wow! Amazing. How did they live for how did four they, years? How did they do that? That's right.、Gosh. That's amazing. But it's true. A lot of us might think of instant noodles as being quite modern. You know, it's something that we have in in our fast-paced world. But actually, yeah, back in the late fifties. That's when they first appeared, but probably only in Japan for a、mm. number of years. Because as we read, the first instant noodles made by Ando's company, Nissin, came in 1958, and at that time, these were not that cheap snack that you find at all the local convenience stores. In fact, it says at the time, these chicken-flavored noodles. Were considered a luxury dish. It was a fancy dish. It was a fancy, expensive kind of food. Cost a lot, and it probably only had one flavor: chicken flavor.、That's、yeah, they, they were chicken flavored noodles,、yep. and only the rich could afford them when they first came out. This was a luxury dish.、Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I know it's strange, folks. So I'll say it again. Okay, at the time in 1958. These chicken-flavored noodles were considered a luxury dish. Yes, people thought that instant noodles were fancy, and get this: they, these first instant noodles, they were much more expensive than fresh noodles, which just sounds weird. Instant noodles are expensive and fancy and considered a luxury, but that's the way it was in 1958. 
anyways, let's fast forward to 1971. Okay, in mm -hmm. 1971, Nissin began selling cup noodles. Mm, Sounds yeah. like the noodles came in a cup. That's right. They're still called that. It says cup noodles on the side in, a bi in big letters. So I guess the ones sold in 1958, the first ones, were in just like that plastic bag, right? And Possibly. you rip them open, put them in a pot at home, add the noodles. But by selling them in a cup, it says this instant noodle dish could be sold, cooked, and served in a single cup. That's basically the ones most of us know now. Sometimes they have a bit a bit of a bigger bowl, but basically you do it all in that one container. All the customer had to do was add hot water. Now we add some powder, maybe a little package of meat or other things like that, and that was the next step. It said with the later addition of dried vegetables to the cup, instant noodles then became a complete meal. And yeah, you can dry vegetables and basically they're almost as healthy as, you know, when uh, they're fresh. Just add water and they come back to life. Dried vegetables are amazing. Okay, before we take a break, we've got the word complete to talk about. First of all, let's talk about this word as a verb. If you complete something, you finish that thing. Now, in our sentence, though, this word complete is being used as an adjective. Yes, if we say that something is complete, okay, that thing is done. You have finished that meal. Apparently, cup noodles, all you had to do is add those dried vegetables, and now you have a complete meal with all the food elements you need to make that an actual meal. Anyways, for example, I bought a complete set of color pencils for my sister, so nothing was left out there as all the colored, all the colors of the rainbow as far as this set of color pencils is concerned. Okay, folks. With that, it's time for us to end today's lesson and to say bye bye. Take care. 泡面的发明人是一位日籍台湾人，名叫安藤百福。他是日清食品公司的创办人。那日清食品公司所制作的第一款泡面是在一九五八年问世。当时啊，那些鸡肉口味的泡面被认为是奢侈的料理，而且比新鲜面条还要贵的很多。接着，在一九七一年。日清食品公司呢，他们开始贩卖 cup noodles 和味道杯面。同学们对这种泡面一定不陌生，现在市面上也都还有在卖。当你买来的时候呢，泡面是用杯装的，你直接把调味料啊，然后干燥蔬菜啊，还有热水加到杯子里面，然后泡面就会变成完整的一餐了。消费者也不用另外再准备装泡面的容器，非常方便。好，最后来看单字 complete。Complete， 它是形容全部的或是完整的、完全的。Complete 也可以当动词来表达完成，那这时候意思就跟 finish 差不多。至于补充单字 luxury，luxury luxury 是指奢侈的、奢华的。Luxury dish 表示豪华餐点、奢侈的料理。好啦，以上是今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny。在今天的课程中，我们要介绍四个文法重点。第一个是 allow somebody to 加原形动词。第二个是 up to。第三个是 go bad。第四个是 all that 主词 have to do is 加上不定词。首先，我们来学习 allow somebody to 加上原形动词。动词 allow 是指允许、准许。Allow somebody 加上不定词就表示允许某人做某事，也可以用来表达使某人能够怎么样，得以怎么样。例如 ，They don't allow their kids to stay up. 他们不准小孩熬夜。再看个例句 ，This app allows you to find nearby restaurants in a few seconds. 这个应用程式使你能在几秒之内就能找到附近的餐厅。接下来，我们来学习 up to。up to 做介系词是指多达什么，高达什么。那么之后是常接数字或是数量的名词，例如 ，the stadium can hold up to thirty thousand people。那个体育场可以容纳高达三万人。接下来，我们来学习 go bad。go 可以当连缀动词，表达变成的语义。
后面接形容词，像是 go bad 表示食物开始腐败变酸 ，go crazy 表示失去理智发疯了 ，go wrong 表示事情出错了发生问题 ，go bankrupt 表示破产等等。例如 ，the milk has gone bad， 牛奶开始变酸了，坏掉了。最后，我们来学习。All that 主词 have to do is 加上不定词，句型 all that 主词加上 have to do is 再加 to 加原形动词，就表示只需要做的事是什么什么，唯一需要做的事情是什么什么。句型中的 all 是代名词，后方的 that 主词 have to do 是关系子句，用来修饰先行词 all。关系代名词 that 可以省略不用。那么 all 在这边它是当主词，相当于 the only thing， 必须视为单数，所以后面搭配单数动词 is。而句尾的不定词，也就是 to 加原形动词，是当主词补语。要特别注意的是，当关系子句中的动词包含 do 的时候，句尾的不定词它的 to 通常会省略。例如 ，all you have to do is。Press the button. 你只需要按这个按钮就可以了。另外，如果关系子句中的动词不包含 do， 那么主词补语除了用不定词，也可以用名词表示。例如 ，All I want is a plate of fruit-covered shaved ice. 我只想要来一盘有满满水果的刨冰。以上是今天的重点整理，我们下次见喽。See you next time. Bye. Hello,大家好。欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是悠悠。自己爱。在工作面试的过程当中，每个人在短短二十分钟内汇出。这个是出浑身解数来说服主管。循环，循环，循环。要怎么办？要怎么说？要
让我成为贵公司的资产吧。噔噔 I'm sure to become an asset to your company. 非我不可。对对,对。I'm sure to become an asset. asset to your company. 对，这个字就是资产，所以就是致谢，告诉对方说，<笑>对。你用我，你公司就赚钱。没错。哇塞，你真的很狗腿耶！啊，对不起。<笑>来看一下今天的 live action. action. Why do you want to work for us? Uh, there are plenty of reasons.、Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, your company is one of the leading software companies globally. Yeah. And your company has been mentioned frequently、mm -hmm. in trade journals. Mm-hmm. Yes. And personally, I'm enthusiastic about this job. Oh, okay. So I'm sure to become an asset to your company. That's good.